Hi, my name is John Foy, and I'm here with the movie Resurrect Dead, which is playing in the U.S. documentary competition. Someone's been embedding messages about resurrecting the dead in busy streets in major cities across the U.S. and South America uh, for the last two to three decades. Nobody knows who does this or why or even how they do it. How do they get them on highways? How do you install uh, an actual plaque in the street? When we started the investigation, we honestly didn't know what we were going to turn up, if anything. And when things started happening, it was like magic. So Justin Durr is the main character of Resurrect Dead. Justin first noticed them in 1993. He was living as a squatter. He just has a curious mind. So it really struck him as being something important, whereas most people would just walk right over these tiles. When he hones in on something, he is 100% dedicated. I mean, he's just going after it at the exclusion of everything else. His intuition was able to guide us through this mystery. I just feel like I made so many terrible life choices and uh, you know, I lucked out. In 2005, I dropped out of school and moved to Philadelphia and we started shooting uh, immediately and uh, none of the grant money came through or anything. Uh, so I self-funded the film uh, for about five and a half years as a house cleaner. And I learned to do everything myself because I couldn't afford to hire people. And also because I had a very strong idea of what I wanted and I felt that I could do it. So much of what I do in my adult life is kind of clinging to ideas that I had when I was a kid of magic. When you're a kid and you don't know better, you think Santa Claus could be real and you think that, that monsters could be real in a great way and in a scary way. And there seems to be this possibility for magic in the world. And I feel like the experience of getting older, you lose a lot of that. And it's unfortunate, that's part of life, but I try to hold on to as much as I can. And I feel like there's dark, unexplored kind of corners in the world where we can still believe in magic and we can still believe in uh, synchronicity and we can still believe in, um, I don't know, these stranger than fiction kind of, kind of things.